All right, YouTube, I had to set you guys back on. We had an epic fail. So, just a quick video to update you that I got the speaker out, as you can see. But what happened was I ripped the surround of the speaker all up. Luckily, we're not going to be using this speaker, but as you can see, it ripped the surround of the speaker right here. So what I didn't know was the grill sits on top like this, as I mentioned in the previous video. You got to get these screws out. Okay, this piece here bolts. Move this stuff around. This is just a casing for the speaker, like a, a mounting case. So it bolted down in there with four eight millimeter bolts. It bolted to the back deck. So I couldn't figure out once I pried the speaker grill up where the bolt holes was. Well, come to find out, I should have never pried the speaker grill apart speaker grill was attached to the actual speaker with some crazy like black almost like windshield adhesive let me see if I can show you like I mean it was it was on there so when I was prying it up it was actually ripping the speaker surround and I, and I didn't know so just so you guys know if you look at this speaker right here there's the plastic piece and then there's the metal piece. I was only prying the plastic grill piece. Now had I would have, the, the speaker is also glued in there. You can see this glue here, but it's not as strong. So had I would have stuck my screwdriver down and tried to pry the speaker, the speaker, just the speaker itself, after I got all of these, these screws here around the grill, then the whole speaker, see this is the, the case, the speaker sits in there like this so as you can see you can see these bolt holes right here inside of the case the screws went through the speaker grill down into this this case here all the way around the speaker so once i got all of the speaker grill bolts out there's six of them i should have been prying let me show you there's a little cutout right here see this cutout here you can see I should have been prying down here and prying the actual metal up and remove the whole speaker and the grill together. Instead, I was jamming my screwdriver down in here and only prying on the grill. And I popped the grill off and like I said, I ripped the speaker surround. So if you guys ever have to remove one of these speakers, just know that you do not take the, take the speaker grill off, that it actually you pry here at the metal and pry the speaker up like this and it'll come out of there. Then, once you get the speaker out, the speaker and the grill together, here's the speaker and the grill together. Like I said, this piece here has four bolt holes in it, if I can show you. Those four inside bolt holes here are bolted down with eight millimeter screws. Let me see if I can focus. Four eight millimeter screws hold that into the back deck. Now the reason why you have to remove this speaker in the first place is to get to the RF transmitter in the back. The RF transmitter sits underneath of that speaker and there's one 10 millimeter bolt. Well there's two 10 millimeter bolts that hold it on here and there. But this far bolt as you can see there's the stud. That stud sits underneath the speaker. So in order to even get this out I had to remove the speaker and like I said this this whole back harness back here all of the wiring harness the battery tray the fuse box everything is one complete harness with everything even the headliner harness and uh, all of your uh, stuff with your headliner and your antenna all of that is all hooked into one harness that runs completely all the way to the front so I just want to give you a little update and make sure I, I gave you guys the right information